Who dat everybody, St. John Butler here. Just wanted to throw something together real quick, talk about the Drew Brees stuff that's going on on social media. Now, if you're unsure what I'm talking about, here are the tweets that Brees sent out. Uh, first one says, man, signing Juice Landry and Matthew Era makes me want to come back and play again. Great additions, leaders, and players. Again, dropping a little hint of, I want to come back and play again, even if it's said in jest. You know, you, you can say that you like what's going on with the Saints without dropping that little nugget. The second tweet, which, again, lends itself to him just jockeying for position with NBC, reads, Despite speculation from media about my future this fall, I'm currently undecided. I may work for NBC. I may play, I may play football again. I may focus on business and philanthropy. I may train for the pickleball tour, senior golf tour, coach my kids, or all the above. I'll let you know. Again, the playing football, the playing football again thing, it's just, I, I don't think it's fair to Jameis Winston. Now, my initial reaction is it's, it's irresponsible or inconsiderate, depending on how you look at it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I know initially when I first read it, obviously there's a lot of jest in there talking about he's going to go on the you know, trained to be a pickleball player and things like that. And the other way to take it is, you know, he's kind of jockeying for position. NBC may or may not want him back next year. So he, I guess he just wants to put out a list of different things that he could be doing to occupy his time so that if somebody like Fox calls up, he can say, hey, look, you know, you, you're going to have to pay me uh, good money to come because like I said, and I've, I've mentioned publicly, I do have other options available to me. You know, to me, it sounds like a guy that's hyper competitive, he had that for his entire life, basically competing at this super high level. And now that that's taken away, I don't know that uh, working in the booth is is necessarily satisfying that urge to to compete. I know he's getting involved in a lot of businesses, and I know that's an avenue that somebody like Marcus Colston took, and they're they're really competing at that level. I know plenty of guys that have gotten into real estate, things like that, or coaching, or or something like that. But just the ability to compete. Uh, for those alpha males, it's it's super important to to who they are as a person, and it kind of sounds like Drew just needs that in his life again. Now, if you were to ask me today, do I want Drew Brees back? I love Drew Brees. You're talking you're talking to the wrong guy if you're looking for somebody to bash Drew Brees. But I would say no for a couple of reasons. Um, obviously, the well, the most obvious is the the physical part of the game, the issues that he had with uh, arm strength and and you know, some, some degree of durability toward the end of his career, taking a full year off. None of those things played to his advantage. The fact that he's in his 40s and you've got somebody like Jameis Winston who they've basically uh, given the keys to the kingdom this offseason, kind of kind of lean, you know, have me leaning toward uh, Jameis Winston being the quarterback without any issue. Now, the one other thing I would say about Winston is, well, there's a lot of things I would say about Winston specifically. But one, one thing that comes to mind is, you know, Drew Brees coming back kind of just, just hurts the same way that, you know, last year he had to compete for the starting role with, with Taysom Hill, understandably, and, and, and won that, that position. Then this offseason, he was looking for a contract, openly said he wanted to come back to New Orleans. The, the whole Deshaun Watson thing happens, and he's got, you know, he's got to just sit back, eat a little humble pie, and watch that play out. Fortunately, Watson did not end up in New Orleans. So then they go back to Winston and say, here's your contract. Here are the keys. You are the starter going into this offseason. Uh, no questions asked. This is your team. And for him to have that kind of confidence in his position, I think will go a long way. Now, when you start to bring Breeze into the, the conversation, then it starts to get muddy again. And, you know, the combination of wondering, hey, is Breeze going to walk in and start or is he going to be a backup? And then if if Winston has a couple of bad games, is Breeze going to then be called upon to clean up some some games? Is he go, always going to have to look over his shoulder and, and look at a future Hall of Famer uh, standing on the sideline? Uh, you know, if, if you know the, the whole point of this whole Winston thing is we got to stop kicking the can down the road. We got to find out what Winston is in this offense. We got all the weapons. We built the offense a high high powered offense based on having Winston as the quarterback you can't you can't then bring Breeze in push Winston to the side and just still continue to not know what you have in Winston based on this system so to me there's a lot of reasons 
to not want Breeze back. If he wants to come back in some kind of coaching capacity, I'm all for it. The guy knows offense. He knows defenses. He knows how to read those things. He knows how to, um, you know, he just knows the game. He knows the game incredibly well. And, and to have uh, an asset like that on the sideline would certainly be beneficial to somebody like Jameis Winston. And just as a side note, whoever came up with this picture, this is just too funny. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the time. If you uh, like the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, then get your friend's phone, jump into his YouTube account and subscribe for them too. By the time they figure it out, we'll be doing great. Talk to you soon, everybody. Who dat?